My brother shooting, turned me to a killer I know the Lord will forgive me though Every time I see a nigga winning I think a few years ago we was on the wall I need a new pair of shoes Unintelligent Someone who does not value a relationship with Christ If we can't make jokes together Like I gotta make fun of you and you laugh And you make fun of me and I laugh And like, you know, like just joking you. Family values Dishonesty. Mm -hmm. mm. Cheater. Smokers. That's the difference. Smokers. Uh, what? <laughs> Someone who doesn't share any interests with me. Or two different people. Bye. Man with kids. Someone who doesn't have a kind heart. A man who doesn't default to being a gentleman mm. in every situation. Second nature. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone who lacks passion. A man who's arrogant. I hate arrogance. Overly or extremely judgmental. Inconsistency. Oh. Yeah. Controlling. Um, <laughs> you can't go to Joe's house. Why are you wearing that top? That's too short. Oh, why are you going to Joe's house? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just giving, you know, it could be a female wow. telling a dude Joe house or whatever, you know. Don't, don't go with home. your friends. You Don't be out too late. Come home at this time. You know, the controlling. Can I speak for men real quick? If I give a girl my number or whatever, the reason why I'm doing that is because like quite clearly, like I'd like to talk to you, right? But I have no idea what you want to do. Why right? did you ask her? I don't really want to waste too much of my time or I'm like shy or embarrassed or whatever. You know, we've had a conversation. It's like, look, hey, I think you're dope. Like, you know, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on you, on you to give me your number right now. So like here, like, Take my number and think about it and hit me up if you want to kick it. I am big on building conversation first. Like, like I think I want to go through a day or two at least of some good back and forth texting. If you're busy, I can kind of like weed through it a little bit, but I don't want to just invite you anywhere without knowing a little bit of what you're into and letting you know a little bit what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? So once we go past that, then I'll figure out somewhere dope to go. So if you're not a good texter, what if you're not a good texter, like I don't text, I rather talk on the phone. That's cool. Let me know that. Okay, so I, I have no problem initiating the phone call if he already has my number. Like my number saved. I know. I feel like I'm just not that bold. Like I'm more reserved. So I feel like the person would have to reach out to me. And after you've already reached out to me, then I could be like. Oh, Reach out after that, but well, can, I, can I say? Oh, you need to let me know. <laughs> you need to let me know before you FaceTime yeah. me. Oh, what? what? I'm busy. I'm busy. I can be at work. You can't just be FaceTiming me. If I don't want, if I'm not gonna ask for the number, y'all like you got an Instagram. <laughs> like, are you asking her to spend time with you? Or are you like? Paying for her to go somewhere with you, or are you just like saying, "Come spend time with me." She's welcome to say no to any invite I give her, right? Okay. But like, if she does say yes to invite, don't assume I'm paying for anything. But like, if I feel like paying, yeah, I'm gonna pay. I typically uh, don't buy one. Yeah. I, I can't invite you somewhere and Anytime. then be like, "Oh, you didn't know you was paying." <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, um, if I'm inviting you, if um, if you're doing something that you didn't plan on doing, and I'm inviting you, I'm always gonna pay. Even if that date didn't work out. <laughs> That's an expectation. If anyone invites, if a guy invites me out to hang out, to, I don't know you and you don't know me. But if you're inviting me out to change my plans or to make a plan with you. Um, Even if it's with a group of people. So it's like me, I don't, and that's his group of friends? Yeah. And he's inviting me out? Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. I'm coming out. The purpose of this is for us to get to know each other. Like I am making time out of my day. You're doing what you were doing already. And so you're inviting me out, so yes, there is an expectation for you to pay. If a girl takes out her card, I'm going to be offended. I'm going to be like, oh, well, this didn't work out the way I planned. <laughs> and that's, so, how, and that's how I mean so, right. I pay for myself, I want you to know. I'm going to be like... Honestly, it doesn't matter to me if she reaches or not. Like, I could care less. I'm paying, and I actually like that I'm paying because now there's a cost associated, not just wasting time. So if I'm paying, once it's like $50, then $100, then I'm like... Damn, I ain't even feeling her like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, benchmark. You know? Like, this, is, this is real deal, because I know a lot of y'all have had y'all time wasted when y'all like, oh, like, yeah. I would like to one finish and say that, like, 
just because like I don't think I am obligated to pay for you just because I invite you out doesn't mean I typically don't do it. It's just that I don't feel obligated to pay for a girl who I'm not dating. So when I am invited by a man to go somewhere, I don't expect him to pay. I would always go knowing that in my head I'm paying for whatever it is that I'm ordering. If they do pay, I, you know, I'll be like, oh great, you know, check mark. He, you know, Thank you. and if he, right? if he, if he, if he doesn't, if he doesn't pay, so then I would say, okay, you know, just scratch. Just scratch. <laughs> when do you communicate, you know, where, where you stand? Because there are women in this room where they're celibate and they're saving themselves because oh, okay. they're getting married. Okay, That's sorry, a different that? woman than. You know, like when I feel comfortable with you yeah. to take Absolutely. that step, yeah. right? And as men, I think you want to know <laughs> pretty early on, earlier <laughs> rather than later. Whoever has the strongest value about that should broach it sooner than later. Oh, but I tried to make a move on you, and you didn't want that move to be made. What would that mean long term for him? Versus like if guys it, 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 it has been a deal breaker. Like in my breaker. yeah, in my in well, my experience. Because why is it a deal breaker? Deal breaker meaning you will or won't. Sorry, I just, I just want to be clear. I, if they if I don't want to uh, he was pursuing a sexual intimate relationship with me and I didn't want it, I it would be a deal breaker for me because it's like he doesn't he doesn't value like what I you know, he would understand that I don't want to go that far. Like, I, you know, he should understand But could that. he get a chance once you tell him that? Like, yeah, maybe right. he just got confused. Or is it just right? I mean, that would be something I would say, like, while we're easy. dating. Physical touch intimacy should correspond with commitment. That This doesn't mean anything goes if you are engaged. Physical touch should be in the context of a meaningful relationship, not reduced to satisfaction of personal need. Genital sex is an expression of intimacy, not the means to intimacy. True intimacy springs from verbal and emotional communion. True intimacy is built on a commitment to honesty, love, and freedom. True intimacy is not primarily a sexual encounter. Intimacy, in fact, has almost nothing to do with our sex organs. A prostitute may expose her body, but her relationships are hardly intimate. Some experts um, even report that premarital sex short circuits the emotional bonding process. Um, this study cited, uh, cited a study of 100,000 women that linked early sexual experience with dissatisfaction in their present marriages, unhappiness with the level of sexual intimacy, and the prevalence of low self-esteem. Uh, the rule that I would like to propose is that women communicate early on their sexual intentions and limits. Yeah, yeah. yeah both people, but like, mm. woman. Cause like, at the end of the day, like, a man has to make the first move 99% of the time. In the courtship process, I That's think it true. is important to share the same but what, values. What, 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 be consistent. Okay. Like, yeah. Whoever initiates the date, expect to pay. You should self-evaluate. Don't date a build a bear. Like you, you're dating someone that oh, I'm gonna build this person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't waste. Time. Okay, guys. Look, okay. Be a complete package, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, before you mm -hmm. seek a complete package. Reverse the roles and pay plays just pay against it. That's my point. You know for a fact. I'm not saying you know for a fact. I'm gonna speculate and say he's at the post-game press conference and I'll be like, Peyton, such a story career, you are a Hall of Fame player. How do you feel having such a wonderful career come to an end like this?